Blackbeard's final devil fruit is right in front of us. No, not you. Yeah, you. With arguably the strongest Zoan devil fruit in the hands of Luffy, it is highly unlikely that Blackbeard will ever get his hands on the Nika fruit. So what is the next best thing? For many years, people in the One Piece community have theorized that Blackbeard would one day steal Kaido's devil fruit. So why do I think he will steal Marco's fruit? In this video, I will explain why Blackbeard's final devil fruit may possibly be Marco's phoenix fruit. If you are not up to date with the One Piece manga, there will be spoilers ahead. So let's address the Blackbeard and Kaido theories first. Blackbeard is currently devil fruit hunting, looking for the strongest devil fruits around. So why wouldn't he go after Kaido's fruit? Well, for a few reasons. It does not fit his pattern, which I will address later in the video. Luffy has never faced off against the same devil fruit multiple times in the series. Blackbeard also does not have the time necessary to learn Kaido's devil fruit. Also, it's Kaido, one of the strongest pirates in the world. I don't think Blackbeard actually wants to fight him. Never in the series has Luffy faced off against the same ability multiple times. To give you an example, imagine Luffy defeats Enel and Skypiea, and then later fights Enel again later in the series. It would be like getting the same fight twice, something Oda does not do. Once Oda establishes that Luffy can defeat an opponent, he does not have Luffy face off against them again. If Blackbeard were to get Kaido's Devil Fruit, he would be wildly unimpressive with it, considering he would not have the time necessary to learn the fruit's complexities. His full dragon form, hybrid form, nature abilities, island moving capabilities, it would be a bit much for Blackbeard to learn in such a short time. Luffy has already faced off against Kaido. He does not need to face off against Kaido with earthquakes and darkness. I also believe that Kaido has more to offer to the story with his knowledge of Joy Boy and his most likely knowledge of Pluton, as well as his history with the Rocks Pirates. So why Marco? Out of all of the Zoan Devil Fruits out there, why his? Earlier I mentioned that Blackbeard has a pattern for his Devil Fruits. Blackbeard specifically, not including his crew. He kills a member of the White Beard Pirates and then takes their Devil Fruits. He killed Thatch and stole the Yami Yami no Mi. He killed Whitebeard and stole the Gura Gura no Mi. I believe that Blackbeard will kill Marco and take his Tori Tori no Mi. If that pattern is not good enough for you, think about it this way. Ever since we were introduced to the Whitebeard Pirates, they've been on the decline. Their 4th Division Commander was killed by Blackbeard. Their 2nd Division Commander was captured and later killed at Marineford. Their Captain was also killed at Marineford. Jozu lost an arm and many other nameless Whitebeard Pirates fell at Marineford. Izo fell during the raid on Onigashima, the remaining Whitebeard Pirates are being hunted by Weevil, not to mention the payback war after Marineford. We still don't know how many Whitebeard Pirates fell during that battle. If ever there was a crew Oda was steadily dismantling, it has to be the Whitebeard Pirates. For as formidable as they once were, they are now in shambles. So you might be thinking, if Blackbeard wanted Marco's Devil Fruit, why wouldn't he just kill Marco and take it during the payback war? Who's to say that Blackbeard hasn't killed Marco before? Something had to make the White Bear Pirates fall back or else they would have all been eliminated. And Phoenixes are rumored to be able to come back to life. Marco, a man who has the ability to heal from magma attacks from Akainu and light attacks from Kizaru, fought Blackbeard once and now he needs glasses. Let that sink in. If Blackbeard does steal Marco's Devil Fruit, there isn't that much of a learning curve for him. Blackbeard has lived and fought alongside Marco for the better part of two decades. He would have a very good idea of what Marco's fruit is capable of. Think back to when Blackbeard first got the Gura Gura no Mi. He was immediately able to start using it with some level of proficiency, but it makes sense considering he spent over 20 years working on the Whitebeard. He would have a very good idea of what the fruit was capable of. I believe the same applies to Marco's Phoenix fruit. I also want people to keep in mind that the Blackbeard pirates are not just looking for devil fruits. They are specifically hunting devil fruit users, so that once they kill a devil fruit user, they already know which ability they are going to get. Blackbeard's final devil fruit is most likely an ability we have already seen. Blackbeard stated in his fight with Ace that his Yami Yami no Mi allows him to take more damage, and Marco's fruit is the perfect solution for him. Looking at Marco's performance during the raid on Onigashima, his fruit looks pretty straightforward and pretty easy to use. Oda has stated that Marco's healing ability is not infinite, which means we will probably see that ability pushed to its limits, most likely in Luffy's battle with Blackbeard. The Phoenix fruit would also give Blackbeard the ability to fly, something he will need if he wants to compete against Luffy's Gear 4 and 5 forms. Marco has had to bury so many of his comrades, and it might be Oda's intention for Marco to be the last White Bear Parrot to fall. Oda may have also intended for the White Bear Parrots to essentially be a Devil Fruit shop for Blackbeard. The White Bear Parrots Devil Fruits have had the highest amount of multiple users in the series, and this may continue in the future. So to wrap this up, I believe that Blackbeard will be targeting Marco in the near future, and will be successful in his acquisition of the Phoenix Fruit. I know many people believe that Blackbeard will get a very special Devil Fruit that rivals Luffy's Nika Fruit, but if Blackbeard needs a special Devil Fruit, I believe he already has it in the Yami Yami no Mi, although that is just my opinion. What do you guys think? 
Am I on to something, or will Blackbeard get a completely different Deadpool fruit? Does he even need another one at this point? Let me know in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video or a dislike if you didn't, and consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future.